Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are in the Arizona and we are back in tier 5 rank battles. Now we are on our push towards number one. We are going to get through this eventually. Uh, I started a little late but there was a lot of content that needed to be made and there's a lot more on the slate for uh, future so uh, hopefully you guys stay right here and if you are looking forward to said content you know maybe punch the subscribe button for me hit the little bell and guess what I feel like a complete sellout <laughs> so uh, yeah I know I don't know I, I watch so many youtubers do that at the beginning of their videos that it's just like ah oh, it's so cringy so cringy I'll do that at the end of the video you know that, that sort of thing if you've stayed that long you're probably more willing to subscribe anyway. But, you know, obviously with so many people doing it at the beginning, there's a reason for it, right? It must work. But I'm not that kind of guy. So, without further ado, let's get to the action. We are in the USS Arizona. You know, it's a famous ship uh, for all the wrong reasons. But it's a famous ship. And I love the ship. I really do. Um... It's been a while since I've taken her out, but Tier 5 Rank Battles is kind of the perfect place to do so. She is tanky as all hell. <laughs> like, this ship does not go down without a fight. Like, it's not... Well, I mean, there's, there's jokes to be had there. But, the ship does not go down without a fight in World of Warships Legends. Oh my god. And right off the bat, we're at 27,000 damage. Eh, it's just getting warmed up. You know... Surely, we, we can't do that again, right? I mean, the Queen Elizabeth seems to have gotten it, but, uh... Oh, hey, Pensacola! How you doing? <laughs> Wait for it. Give him a little over two and a half mils. That's another thing. Uh, if you guys are wondering what I, what I mean by mils... Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> another one. And we're at 45,000 damage. Did I ever say that the Arizona's good? It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, if you're wondering what I mean by mills, if you're looking through a scope, each little line that you see is a mill. Now, there are the big lines, which are a full mill, and then there are the little lines in between, which are half mills. So when I say two mills, that means two big lines over, two full bars, if you will. Um, that's the lead that I give uh, for a lot of ships. And depending on how fast... Oh my god, I did it again! <laughs> three shots in a row and three citadels. Are you joking right now? Somebody needs to stop the Arizona. This is wrong. <laughs> These guys want to play the game too. And now I have just absolutely half health everybody on the enemy team. This is ridiculous. Um, but the downside to the Arizona, as compared to, say, the, um, you know... Queen Elizabeth, maybe, is that the Arizona has a slow reload. It's 35 second reload, and the guns are smaller. 357s? Am I wrong? Somebody will correct me, obviously, because that's how you guys do. You guys are awesome like that. So somebody knows, and somebody will post it down below. I'm terrible at information. You guys should know this by now. But. The Queen Elizabeth has 381 millimeter guns, and they reload in 30 seconds. I'm guessing it's because of the fact that they're two-gun turrets, rather than the Arizona's three-gun turrets, or the New Mexico's three-gun turrets. Uh, speaking of New Mexico's, wait for it! A little bit behind. A little behind. A little behind still hits him for three penetrations and a single uh, overpin. Not bad. All right, so now we've got a cruiser raining on us. It's a French cruiser. It set us on fire the first time it looked at us, of course, because that's how that works. We're running a build that is susceptible to being set on fire. So anytime a cruiser looks at you with HE, you get set on fire. It's just the way it goes. All of my dispersion builds are susceptible to fire, which is why I complain so much when an entire team fire spams me, because I just melt. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. Tanky builds, you get a little bit more of a leeway, and that was a good shot. Got a couple of nice penetrations on the New Mexico. Uh, but this guy's starting to get on my nerves as a cruiser, so it's time to put him in his place. All right? Cruisers, if you're in a battle 
versus a battleship. And you are especially if you're a, a an HE spammer or you know you're trying to get torpedoes, whatever you're doing, which this guy clearly is trying to get torpedoes. There's only one reason a cruiser gives you broadside on one side and then flips around and gives you the broadside of the other side. And hint, it's torpedoes. So there are definitely torpedoes in the water, which is why I've slowed down. I also want to limit who can shoot me. Most of the battleships are behind mountains right now from my location, and there's some of the torpedoes. Now remember, he turned the other direction too, so there's likely to be tor uh, torpedoes on their way this direction. Now he's turning all the way back another time, so his torpedoes must have just reloaded that he launched the first time, and he's about to launch some more. So there are the ones that he launched at us from the other side of his ship, and we've got some coming from this side, Luckily, down he goes. He got very fortunate that we kept overpinning instead of citadeling him. But uh, these torpedoes are just darn near impossible to dodge. And all we can really do is hope we don't take both of them. Unfortunately, we do take both of them. Not preferable, but it's the only real damage we've taken the entire game. And we've got 82, or no, sorry, 92,000 damage. So we're having a decent game is what I'm saying. Uh, we lose a little bit of rounds there on the uh, mountain. But we are officially flanking the enemy. And now they, as if they haven't already, been in a world of hurt. We've half health everybody we've looked at pretty much. So it's just the few people that we haven't half health that are left. <laughs> because your team tends to get rid of the ones that you citadel. Uh, and this New Mexico, I mean, you can't really give me much of a better shot, right? And center mass... He gets lucky, very lucky, that we land a little high up on his side and we get some overpins through the thinner armor, but, you know, is what it is. You can only do so much. I can tell the shots where to go. I can't make them hit exactly where I want. You don't want me to do that. It's That's why we have dispersion. And I try to limit the dispersion as much as possible, but it's still there. It's the difference between deleting everybody you shoot at and taking half their health. <laughs> because I'm very good at making sure the shots are on target. So, it's all up to the little bit that it drifts left, right, up, down, between where I aim and where they actually hit that decide whether or not I get citadels or just overpins. Um, I can only try, I can only put the shots on target. I can't make them do whatever I need them to. So, I'm giving myself the best possible opportunity, and as you can see, three citadels in, we've got Confederate, we've got High Caliber, we've got 122,000 damage, and there's still quite a bit of damage to be had here. This Byron's given the broadside of his ship, and he's turning in, making it flat. This should be dead. Unfortunately, two overpins, three regular pins, and we only chunk him. But I say we only chunk him, we chunk him again with the rear guns. And now we're looking at the Queen Elizabeth. Watch this next shot, by the way. You see how I looked at the Queen Elizabeth before it went behind the island? That gives me a pretty good idea of where I need to aim. And so next time I look over, there you go. Right before he gets behind the island, I set my shot. I let the game do what it's supposed to do. And you can see my controller is still screwed up, so it tries to drift up on me. But uh, we get the shot off. And the first one, surprisingly, does nothing. But the second shot did a little bit better, and we get a nice, good penetration with two overpins, 6,200 damage. We're at 144,000 damage, and there are still some to be taken. So uh, we've, we've carried pretty hard in this one, if I must say so myself. We've made our team's job very easy. We have done everything damage-wise that we needed to do. The only thing we could have done better was make ourselves more of a target. But when you're half-healthing everything... You don't really need to be a target. You just need to keep doing what you're doing. It's working, <laughs> you know? So uh, flanking the enemy, getting these nasty cross shots. And this, again, should be death. Unfortunately, he starts turning away because somebody else is shooting at him as well. And we only get one hit on him for 1,997 damage. And that's going to be the last time we actually get a chance to do any damage to him. Because he's about dead. And he's the last man alive, which means everybody's shooting him. And he's only, you know, got so long to live. And we're not going to get these guns loaded again. But 146,000 damage in a Tier 5 ranked. Uh, it's, me in battleships and Tier 5 ranked is disgusting. It really is. It should be outlawed. Wargaming, if you're listening, don't let me play battleships in Tier 5 ranked. It's just me. 3,600 base XP again. 
top of the leaderboard, rank 13. Now, I will just give you a little spoiler alert. I'm already down to rank 10, and I think I've only lost once, maybe twice so far. Uh, we've, we've been on a roll. It's been disgusting. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.